I've been considering this for probably or thinking about it, not really making the move for two or three years since energy's very obviously uh, becoming more and more of a problem to keep everything running and be able to afford to make things happen. And and uh, when I went to buy some fuel for the for the uh, tractor and it was near five dollars a gallon, I said, well, I, and that was back this spring. I come and got on the phone and got a hold of Johnny John Williamson and and asked him what variety of sunflowers I should be using and he got me in touch with the uh, extension service and and she advised me to get a hold of uh, uh, a company out in Minnesota Seed 2000 is the name of the company and and uh, they uh, advised me on the variety of sunflower which is a Teton is the name of this variety it's a uh, high in oil content and so I ordered a bag of seed I guess in the Midwest and farther west the soils aren't as rich as they are here so that makes a difference in in how close we planted them so instead of 15 acres which I thought I'd bought enough seed for I ended up with uh, planting five six or maybe seven acres I haven't actually measured it but somewhere around that area and uh, so that's the stage we're at now they're in blossom and, and as you can see the honeybees are and bumblebees and all the bees are here doing their job right now and, and uh, then the seeds will take place and harden off and now I'll, I'll be getting a hold of John again to and let him advise me as to when they're at the right stage to be harvested and and then we'll uh, go through that process and and then store the seed and, and use John's equipment over there and uh, of course I it, it's it's a I probably wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for John having that equipment otherwise the investment in the equipment would be prohibitive but uh, he's willing to process do that part of it and we'll get the oil and then the next step next spring I'll see if it works as well as I'm hoping it's going to work to to run the tractor keep track of all the costs to see if we're going to end up making a profit doing this uh, I think we'll probably see more people doing the same thing. As, uh, as I'm being told, it doesn't take super uh, fertile soil. It, it, sunflowers can be grown on marginal soils, and there's a lot of fields around that could be used that way. And uh, if you got the beauty of the sunflower, and then you got the uh, the oil that you can get from it versus other other things the seeds can be sold as bird feed and that kind of thing I got a brother that's very very uh, innovative and, and exceptionally talented when it comes to making something mechanical work and uh, I feel lucky to have him as a brother and John Williamson as a friend and that's where how things happen when people get together and work together and we can get some positive results